Bye for more than a pack. And here she is performing fiction. Before starting this video, I actually went in and checked who the original artist of this song was because I was curious and I found out that it's Beast. And while I don't really know anything about that group, uh, I started the song uh, because I wanted to know what the song was like in its original form. And then I realized that I actually know this song. It's weird that sometimes you can know a song, but you know nothing about the artists or artist or group or whoever made it. But anyway, Dana Park is about to do her. I assume it will be quite different because I don't really see her about to do some rap. I don't. But I am looking forward to hearing Lena Park's version of this song. So without further ado, Lena Park performing fiction. Here we go.
to make a song her own. <sighs> oh, I'm so happy again. I always end up being really, really happy whenever then a pack performs. <sighs> I like how in the beginning of this video, I stated that I did not think she would be doing rap. And then here she is rapping. Oh, well now I've heard that too. Ah, oh, although not quite the same sort of rap as in the original song, as far as I recall. This was more of a soft, more sort of spoken rap, if you can call it that. I am actually wildly impressed by this cover. She made that song sound incredibly beautiful. She made it sound like it could have been the soundtrack of a movie. Like a big budget movie song. Oh, I think with this song, at least for me, this is the case. The chorus is the important part. Because, to be honest, I have already forgotten what the verse sounds like. I don't know. There is just something really catchy about the chorus. There is something about the chorus that's really, really good. And that's the same... In the original for me, I cannot remember the verse right now, I can just remember the chorus. Because the chorus is actually really really nice, both in the original and in this. But I would actually like to hear this cover more times and watch this video again, because it was just really beautiful. It had that sort of story-like movie thing to it, in a way that... I don't think the original has. I actually think the original is quite a good song and at the top of my head it is the only song I remember from that group. Like, I, I mostly just know them by name. I can't mention any names of the members because I, I honestly don't know. But I, I know that song. Then I've had done covers from other K-pop groups before. At least I have watched one where she covered Nobody um, by Wonder Girls and I actually liked her version more than the original. I think in in this one I I think I might like them equally because I think that the original song here has that sort of pop style that I do like to listen to. But at the same time, the Napax version is just really, really beautiful. It has more of that beautiful yet tragic story feeling to it. Sometimes it's really nice to remember that music exists. Like music you had forgotten was there. That you just remember that it is still there. Or someone just brings it to your attention. But I just absolutely love Park Jonghyun. She is one of my favorite artists. She really is. Because just, just every song that she takes and makes a cover of, she just makes it her own. And her voice is just so sweet and pure. And she is such a princess. And I just, I smile every time she sings because ah, she just makes me feel so peaceful inside, so happy. It's like we take all of the beauty and kindness in the world and we just push it into that petite little woman called Park Jonghyun. <laughs> oh, and then we had such an amazing artist. So tell me what you think of this amazing cover from Rena Park where she performed fiction. Tell me what you think of Rena Park as an artist of her cover of fiction of the original song. Tell me what you think of Feast. Tell me of anything you like. And remember that you are welcome to leave requests if you want to. And other than that, I will just see you in the next video. Bye. Annyeong.